the age-old question, desktop or laptop, which is better? And which should you use? So many different opinions and some people will swear by desktops and say that laptops are trash and some will say the same about laptops versus desktop. In reality, that's not the case. They both have their place and as a PC hardware enthusiast and regular user of both, today I'm going to help you decide which you should have, a desktop or laptop or both. Hi, I am Justin from Random Tech Videos and before we get into this video, please consider subscribing to this channel if you are interested in random tech videos and you can also leave a like if you think the video will be helpful. But with that out of the way, let's get right back into the video. So why might you want to consider a desktop instead of a laptop? Well, a desktop PC for the same price that you pay for a laptop, whether you build a desktop PC yourself or get a pre-built, in general, you will get more performance for money, aside from some rare cases where laptops have certain specials. And in general, the components in a desktop PC are more powerful than their laptop counterparts, even if they share the same name. For example, the RTX 3080 desktop GPU is more powerful than the RTX 3080 laptop GPU. Another reason why you might want to consider a desktop over a laptop is if you need a lot of storage, you can more easily add hard drives or SSDs to a desktop computer. In addition to this, if you're looking for a high performance PC, desktop computers usually offer better cooling solutions since you can have a tower cooler or a liquid cooler which you simply cannot do in a laptop due to space constraints. Another thing that is good about desktop PCs is that you have more I.O. ports than you would on a laptop because you simply have more physical room for them. Another advantage of desktop PCs is that it is typically easy to upgrade in the future, like if you need a more powerful CPU, GPU, more RAM, etc. It's usually possible to upgrade unless it's like certain types of pre-built PCs, but even then there are usually some options. And lastly, one thing about a desktop PC unlike a laptop is you, with very few exceptions, cannot build a laptop yourself. If you're a PC enthusiast, you can build a desktop computer completely yourself and choose all your parts, so way more customization options. Please keep in mind though that this is not meant to be a comprehensive comparison video, but more just to give you a general idea. So while I was just talking about how desktop PCs are like really great, with a laptop, you can just have it wherever you go and not need to worry about anything. You just plug it in to charge it. You can use it on a charger or on battery or anywhere. You can edit video, you can game, you can browse the web, you can work on a Word document. I don't know, anything you can think of on a desktop, you can most likely do on a laptop. So laptops are great when you just want something that can go anywhere. And still, with a laptop, you can just plug it into a USB-C docking station and use it exactly as you would use a desktop. On top of that, laptops use less power. And while earlier I mentioned that PCs are generally cheaper for the amount of power you get, with a laptop, you get a screen, you get speakers, you get a camera, you get microphones, a keyboard, a mouse, all included, essentially, in the whole package that you can just use anywhere. But as with everything, there is a catch. Okay, let's talk about why you might not want a laptop. Laptops can overheat very easily. If you have a high performance laptop, the battery life is going to be absolute trash. You can't really upgrade much, although some let you upgrade storage and RAM. You can't upgrade your CPU, GPU, screen, etc. usually, with some exceptions. Laptop keyboards are generally worse than desktop keyboards, and the screens are obviously smaller on the laptop. You have fewer ports, and as I mentioned earlier, not as good cooling solutions, so you can't physically have as high performance in a laptop as you could in a desktop. But that being said, desktop PCs aren't portable. So here's what it comes down to. If you need the most performance for your money, get a desktop. If you need the most portability, get a laptop. If you need decent performance, but you still want the desktop experience, but you need it portable, get a laptop and use a docking station. If you need maximum performance, but also need to travel or be able to use the computer in other places, get a desktop and a laptop, assuming you have the funds to do so. There really is nobody else other than you who can decide what you want. 
I hope this video helps you know what you might be interested in, but there really is no way to say one is better than the other. Neither one is better than the other. They both have their advantages. They both have their disadvantages. Personally, I have both as you see. And like I just said, while the choice is yours, there's a reason why I have both. There was a long period of time where I only had a laptop and I was constantly thinking of how much I needed a desktop. And then there was a period after that where I had issues with my laptop and so I returned my laptop and used that money from the return to build my dream PC. And then when I had that, I was constantly thinking, oh, I need a laptop because I, oh, I had to get my car serviced or I needed to wait for somebody or even just easily browse YouTube while on my bed or something. Of course, using a pad under the laptop so that it wouldn't overheat by not being able to get airflow, just as a disclaimer. During the period that I only had a laptop, my issues were that even though I could plug it into a docking station or a screen, I couldn't like have my 16 terabyte hard drive in the laptop and the temperatures were always around 100 degrees Celsius on the CPU. So while that's okay, it means there's like thermal throttling and not the best performance. And then while I just had a desktop, as I just mentioned, I would go anywhere and not have a computer and I did not like that. So for me, it's both. For you, it may be one or maybe the other, or maybe you don't even need a computer at all. Maybe you're able to just do everything on your phone. A lot of people can do that. Some phones can even dock as a desktop or as a laptop. So for you, maybe that's all you need. I don't know. And I apologize if there's any repetition or if I missed anything in this video because I started to write a video plan for this video, but then I realized that this video wasn't meant to be quite as professional, but more of just telling my personal experience. So then I decided against using my script to make this video. So if I missed anything, that's why I missed it. If I repeated, that's why. But that being said, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did find this video helpful, please consider leaving a like below the video as it helps me get into the YouTube algorithm. And please leave in the comments, do you have a desktop, a laptop, or both? What do you like, what do you not like? The comment section is a great place to help other people who are asking the same question. But anyway, that's all for this video. So thank you for watching. And until my next random tech video, which typically is once a month, but I'm hoping to someday make that more often, goodbye.